Synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation with pressure support is a mode of ventilation on the servo eye ventilator that delivers mandatory breaths yet allows the patient to breathe spontaneously with pressure support. Mandatory breaths and volumes can be delivered in various modes including PRVC, pressure control, and volume control. This allows the patient to receive either a set pressure while in SIMV pressure control, a set volume while in volume control, or breasts can be pressure regulated with a volume guarantee in PRVC. SIMV can be viewed as a method to bridge the gap either to wean to extubate or to advance to a more mandatory mode. This mode could be used for any patient population, however it works best when weaning patients from mechanical ventilation and is also helpful for patients that are out of sync with the ventilator. This mode is also useful for post-operative patients that are not anticipated to need long durations of mechanical ventilation. SIMV allows you to visualize when the patient has awakened and how much volume they are able to achieve spontaneously with pressure support. If the patient is breathing spontaneously with moderately acceptable tidal volumes, yet are not ready to be extubated, the mandatory frequency can be de decreased. Once mandatory breaths have been reduced to four to six breaths, the patient can be decreased to an exclusively spontaneous mode or they can be extubated from SIMV with acceptable weaning parameters and physician verification. However, if the patient has an increased work of breathing and waveforms indicate discomfort, one of two things can be done. You can increase the mandatory frequency or change to an assist control mode that will best relieve the patient's work of breathing. There are several variables that must be set in SIMV mode. These variables include volume at 6 milliliters per kilogram, frequency 12 to 14 initially, pressure support can be set at 20 centimeters of water pressure initially and adjusted to the pressure support driving pressure, PEEP set according to patient's needs, FiO2, inspiratory time, rise time in seconds, inspiratory cycle off, and the trigger as flow in a decelerating flow pattern. The total minute ventilation is a combination of both mandatory and spontaneous breaths and volumes. Initial settings will vary depending on the patient's clinical situation. The settings should be dictated by the clinical presentation of the patient, objective and subjective data, ABG, chest x-ray, and respiratory compromise. There are a couple of disadvantages of this mode, one being that the patient and ventilator could possibly inspire in series, leading to stacking of the breasts and increasing airway pressure. The second disadvantage is the increased work for the patient while attempting to breathe spontaneously through the endotracheal tube to open a demand valve. When a patient is in the SIMV mode, there are three types of breaths that can be delivered. Mandatory, which are controlled, assisted, a breath that is initiated by the patient and synchronized with the ventilator, and spontaneous breaths that are pressure supported.